The next one we have uh, question number 22 again, it's just something which is based on the trigonometry. It says that the number of minutes of daylight per day for a certain city can be modeled by this particular this particular function where t is the day of the year from 1 to 365. Which of the following best describes the behavior of dt on day 150? Okay. The number of minutes of daylight per day is increasing at a decreasing rate. The number of minutes of daylight per day is increasing at a decreasing rate. The number of minutes of daylight per day is increasing at an increasing rate and then decreasing at an increasing rate. So first off, we need to find whether the number of, um, you know, the, the, the daylight minutes, the number of minutes of daylight at 150, is that increasing or decreasing? That's our first aim. So let's find the value of D of 149 d of 150 and d of 151 okay so uh, let me do that all right so i just found all the uh, uh, all the values over here d of 149 is coming as 876.6223 d of 150 is coming as 877.6626 and the D of 151 is coming as 150. So this 151 is 878.6589. Clearly, the value of D is increasing, right? The value of D is increasing, which means that it is increasing, not decreasing. Now, to find the, whether that rate is increasing or decreasing, we find the difference of the consecutive terms. So first, we find the difference of 150 minus 149. And this value comes out as 1.0403 and then we find the difference between 151 and 150 and this value approximately comes out as 0 0.9962 so obviously this value this difference is decreasing and if this difference is dec decreasing which means that the rate is also decreasing consecutive difference is the rate you know just gives us the rate at which it is happening so since the difference is decreasing the the function is although increasing because the y values are increasing but at a decreasing Rate. So it should be option number A over here. That's the final answer. Hope that makes sense.